Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a horror film, Ghost Game. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a series of historical images, depicting the brutal atrocities that occurred on an island in Jeddah. In 1986, a communist commander stormed the island and captured 10,000 hostages, who were subsequently subjected to horrifying conditions. He intended to use the hostages to negotiate with the government, but the government refused to make a deal. Instead, they retaliated by sending the military to the island. Knowing he is doomed, the commander massacred as many hostages as he can, before committing suicide on May 9 of that year. When things quieted down, the government seized the island back and erected a memorial museum to honor the lives lost on the island. The museum was opened on the same day as the commander's first death anniversary. But pretty soon, the museum became entangled in rumors that it was haunted by evil spirits. Two men were found dead inside the museum one night, and the videotape found just showed that they suddenly dropped dead on the floor. The official cause of death was ruled as extreme shock. Ever since then, the museum has been reported to be haunted. This is why a reality show is now planning to shoot its new season there. Eleven contestants will be shipped to the island, and the last one standing will receive a massive cash prize. The last season's winner, Dao, and the runner-up, Yuff, will also join the contest. Soon the whole production travels to the remote island. The contestants are all young and eager to get the cash prize. Each one thinks they will be the one brave enough to last the longest on the haunted island. The group ride a boat and arrive at a marshy and humid island, blanketed by a thick forest. A camera crew is already ready at the dock to film their arrival. After a short trek, they enter the former military compound. Out of respect, the group performs a strange ritual first for their protection. A man chants in a strange language as the wind blows strongly. Suddenly, he goes crazy and attacks the producer. It takes several men before he is subdued. One of the contestants translates what he's saying, sharing that the man was warning them the island is cursed and they have to get out now. The crew members finally manage to get him out of sight, and some of the contestants ask if that scene was part of the script. Unperturbed, the producer just moves on with his introduction. He tells the contestants that each of them will be given a survival kit with maps and instructions. They will also be given prison uniforms and assign the numbers of the actual prisoners, but all religious amulets or electronic devices are confiscated. After finishing his speech, the producer and the crew file out of the compound and lock the contestants inside. He has his own room where he can watch the live footage, and he can talk to the contestants through a loudspeaker. The show is aired simultaneously. Many viewers tune in as the producer gives a background on the tortures and executions that the prisoners endured on the island decades ago. Meanwhile, they also see the contestants making themselves at home inside the compound. The producer also adds that contestants should be careful when handling the historical fixtures and that they are not allowed to venture inside the off-limits areas. Dao walks past boards filled with pictures of the prisoners. She jumps back when she sees a horrifying reflection on the glass. The other girls ask her if she is okay, but she remains tight-lipped about what she saw. Night falls, and the contestants enter their assigned bedrooms, which were once the prison cells of the inmates. The furniture and belongings inside were also the possessions of the tortured inmates. The rooms are dark and sparse, with only thin cots to sleep on. Dao sits on her bed, but drops her necklace. She gets down on the floor to search for it, peering through the cracks. Just as she stands up, a hand reaches through the cracks. Later on, Dao sees a ghost sitting next to her in bed. She screams, and the other contestants check on her. Yut's eyes widen as he sees the same apparition. A short-haired girl named Jay asks if she's okay, but Dao lies again, saying that it's just nothing. Jay goes back to her room. But when she turns around, a vengeful ghost stalks after her. She steps back in fright and slumps to the floor. Morning comes, and Jay is still in shock. She is staring into space and is visibly shaking. The slightest movement behind her sets her off, and she yelps in fright. The contestants crowd around the table together. One of the girls asks Dao again what happened last night. She makes up an excuse and says that she saw a rat in her room. The producer greets them through the speakers and encourages the group to share how their first night inside the prison went. He questions Jay, but the girl is still too in shock to speak. So Yuff speaks up instead and shares that he saw a ghost of a young girl with short hair, wearing a black dress and a scarf around her neck, standing near Dao last night. Jay gets uncomfortable as Yev tells his story, and she sees that same ghost standing in the corner. The ghost is now under the table, and Jay springs out of her seat. Jay could not take it and quit the competition. She has to be taken out of the compound on a stretcher, since she is hyperventilating. This incident makes the other contestants suspicious of Yuff and Dao. They think that the ghost stories must be a strategy to scare the others into quitting. That night, the producer starts a new game. 
He separates the contestants into three groups, but a girl protests that the two contestants from the previous season are in one group. So the other girl offers to switch groups with Yuff, and the producer agrees. Continuing, he assigns the first group to the torture chamber, the second group to the death forest, and the third group to Skull Island. The third group arrives at Skull Island, which is a warehouse facility. The producer instructs them to split into two teams. Meanwhile, the second group finds the written instructions for their journey through the deaf forest. They split up to find the specially marked graves, leaving Dao alone. The first group sees the instructions left for them inside the torture chamber. The two contestants strap a girl's hands to a wooden torture device and tie a blindfold over her eyes. Then, it's another one's turn to submerge herself in a tub filled with water. Inside Skull Island, the hippie suddenly twitches and screams. The pretty girl comforts him, and as she bends close over his body, the hippie runs his hand over her torso. This disgusts the pretty girl, and she recoils from him. The boy from the first group, named Kempted, leaves the girl inside the tub and ventures further into the torture chamber. He sees a male mannequin with a blindfold hanging from the ceiling. Back at the warehouse, the third group finds a heap of skulls below wooden compartments. As part of the challenge, the three male members each have to go inside the individual compartments and spend the night with the skulls. The pretty girl will guard the compartments. The second group finds more instructions ordering them to perform a daring mantra to call on the spirits. The mantra is disrespectful to the spirits and dares them to rise up from their graves and appear before the second group. The blindfolded girl hears shuffling sounds approaching her. In the other room, the submerged girl starts having an asthma attack and she tries to reach for the inhaler tied to her wrist. But since her hands are tied, she drops the inhaler in the water. She is running out of breath fast. The producer sees this and orders the crew to get the submerged girl out immediately. Meanwhile, the hippie sees spirits beside him in the wooden compartments. He shrieks, and the pretty girl yanks back the wooden lid. She doesn't know that invisible spirits are already choking her groupmates, so she just thinks they're playing a prank on her again. When she yanks the lid back again, she sees a ghost on top of the compartment. She hurriedly steps back and sees three ghosts, including a kid standing near the wall. More and more ghosts flock to her, and she tries to keep them off. The pretty girl and the hippie are both freaking out and eliminated from the competition. They are both taken to the infirmary, still screaming about the spirits they saw. It turns out in the corner is Jay. Meanwhile, the girl recovers from her asthma attack, but she's out of the game too. She had hidden her asthma ailment from the producers, so this was the basis for her disqualification. In their editing room, the producer and the crew are milking the drama and imagining how the show's ratings will soar. That night, the contestants go to their beds afraid. The winds begin to pick up, and the camera feed in the editing room flickers. The morning dawns on the infirmary, and the pretty girl is still crying from the things she saw last night. The hippie approaches her bed and tries to comfort her by giving her an amulet to ward off the evil spirits. Meanwhile, the remaining contestants gather in the kitchen to have breakfast. Dao sits at a separate table, because the other girls are giving her shady looks. The producer announces that one of the contestants had disappeared last night, and no one knows where he went. Because of this, the day's activities are cancelled, and all contestants will stay inside their quarters only. Kempted confesses to Dao that everyone else is thinking she is the one causing these scary events, so the other contestants would get booted off. Dao approaches Kempted and notices the museum pamphlet he's holding. It has a picture of the female ghost that appeared to Dao on her first night. Through the information listed on the pamphlet, they learn that she was the only prisoner who ever escaped the island. At that time, she worked with the government to bring down the commander. However, she was recaptured soon after, and painfully tortured before she died during the May 9 massacre. The two flip through more pages, and Dao suddenly recognizes one room as the one she saw the missing contestant go into in her dream last night. That room is the dungeon, and it is part of the off-limits areas. A few steps before the door to the dungeon is a pack of the missing contestants chewing gum. But the door has been locked since they arrived, and it's impossible for him to enter that room. The producer talks to Dao through the speaker, and tells her that the night's challenge will take place in the dungeon. At 10 p.m., the contestants all file inside the dark dungeons, while a storm brews outside. They reach the interrogation chamber, where a photo of the commander is tacked on the wall. The producer instructs them to pay their respects to the commander by kneeling and shaking bamboo sticks. When it's Dao's turn to shake the sticks, the ghost comes up behind her and starts shaking the sticks forcefully. This causes Dao to drop them. After this strange interruption, the producer gives them more instructions to follow their individual manuals and to go to their assigned rooms for the night. Inside their rooms, they each find a manual, metal tools, and a pile of skulls that they have to break. Kempted finds an old diary in his room. Dao ventures out into the hallway and sees the ring from her necklace that she dropped the other night. She looks up and sees cracks in the ceiling, and she surmises that those are the same cracks on the floor of her bedroom. Dao then shines her flashlight on the wall 
and to her surprise, a framed photo of the ghost is hanging there. She must have been killed in that spot right below the bedroom. Kempted arrives, and Dao tells him about her discovery. Ya follows shortly after and freezes when he sees the photo of the ghost. Dao suddenly sees the ghost right behind the two men, and she screams out loud. Kempted reads the writing on the wall aloud, saying that it's a warning that the commander will kill them all. He shows the diary he found to Dao, and explains that it belonged to the commander, who had detailed in the diary how he would kill prisoners every ninth day of the month. The commander also killed all his soldiers and his prisoners on May 9 in the past. Kempted then puts the pieces together. May 9 was the date shown on the video footage of the two men who died in the museum. It is now May 8, close to the strike of midnight and the dreaded anniversary of the massacre, meaning that everyone on the island is in danger from the commander's wrath. Meanwhile, the eliminated contestants are all currently watching the live footage from the dungeon. After hearing Kempted's realization, the girl becomes worried and demands that the producer stop the game immediately, but he merely dismisses her concerns. So she heads out of the infirmary and into the storm. The hippie follows her to keep her safe. Dao warns the others about the May 9 threat. Dao and Kempted express their intentions to quit, but the other girl excuses it as another strategy to get them to quit as well. Later, some contestants want to leave the place, the producer is dismayed, but allows those who want to quit to leave the dungeon. He announces that the remaining Yuff and the other two are the winners of the competition. Meanwhile, Jay and the pretty girl hastily escape to the dock. They plan to commandeer a boat, but they don't have the keys, so they just run to the forest in their panic. The eliminated contestants are all instructed to pack their things while they wait for the crew to escort them out. The remaining three contestants stay in one of the rooms. They keep trying to speak to the producer, but there is no one left in the editing room. The three hear a bang coming from outside the room, and Yuff steps outside to take a look. Soon enough, the two girls follow after him, but they all get separated. Both girls see the apparition of the commander, and soon they die. Yuff sees someone getting drowned, and the missing contestant's dead body dropping, forcing him to run away in terror. He finds Dao later, and frantically tells her what he saw. Meanwhile, a contestant is acting strangely. The other girl notices this, and asks her if she's okay, but she knocks the girl unconscious. She then straps her to a chair and proceeds to hit her own hand with a rock. It's as if she is possessed by an unseen force and her body is out of her control. One of her hands holds a knife to her throat, and then she bashes the rock to her head as the girl shrieks. This causes her to get an asthma attack, and she dies. Kempted and the hippie run to the gates, where they see the pretty girl staring into space. It turns out she is possessed by the commander's ghost, and she attacks the hippie. He is now stuck in the metal turnstile of the gate, and it squeezes his body until he dies. Dao and Yuff head to the infirmary and the editing room, but find no trace of the producer. A dead man is lying on the couch, with his hands tied. The two walk out of the infirmary, and they are met by Kempted, who turns out to also be possessed. He kills Yuff by bashing his head. Dao runs and sees the commander chasing her. She eventually arrives at the dock and gets on the boat. Jay is huddled nearby, rocking herself in shock. The keys are already in the ignition, and Dao starts the boat. Kempted comes running, and he appears to be back to his old self. He pleads with Dao not to leave him, but she doesn't believe him. She jeeves the ship out of the dock, crying. However, she changes her mind and decides to turn around. Kempted smiles as he sees the boat returning. But when it arrives, Dao is already dead. The movie ends with Kempted discovering that Jay is also inside the boat. She is also possessed by the commander, and was responsible for Dao's death. This is Daniel's CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.